So let's start to create our application. The first thing we're going to do is to create a new application. We'll call this console. We can put in a brief description and we're going to just choose an empty application. We could change the template to any other plan plates that we have. We'll finish that. So our application could connect to backend services. It can reference business objects. We can create either a mobile app or a web app. And in addition, we may have specific components we want to use, or we may be integrating with process through Oracle integration. Let's start by creating some business objects. We'll create a business object directly in Visual Builder and we'll call it Department. So here's the overview. We can add in a plural label. And a description. We could add fields. We could access security, add, add additional business rules. We could refer look at the endpoints and of course we can add data so let's start by adding some fields. Visual Builder has already added an ID field for us and some audit columns but let's add an additional one ourselves. So let's add a field called name which is a string and another one called target. This is a number, will be the number of people we want in each de department. In addition to adding the fields, of course, we need to add some data. So let's add rows. Let's add sales with a target of 10. Let's add marketing with a target of five. And of course, let's add IT. We'll start off with two in IT. As well as creating objects directly in Visual Builder, there are other things we can do. So let's look at the data manager. Through the data manager, we could import live data or import from a staged area or from a file. Of course, we can export our development data. We can download an Excel or we can create a new business object by importing from Excel. And that's what we'll do in this case. So let's import our spreadsheet that we want to work from. You can see that we found the employees and the locations records. Now we can make some slight changes. So I want the object name to be a single. And we can look at the employees and locations. So in employees, the start date currently is a full date time. Let's just change that to a date. And of course, we could make changes to the location data as well. OK, finish that and the import will take place. And now we have business objects for both employee and location in Visual Builder. As well as the fields that we've imported, we've also got the data. So let's go back to the fields and let's actually add fields. So we're in the employee object. The first thing we want to add is a reference to the department object and we want to display the name field. Let's add another field called location. is a reference to the location object and let's have let's take the city 
finally, let's add a new field completely called approved. And this, we want to be a Boolean. So we'll create this field. Every field has a set of properties. So on this Boolean, let's set the default to false. So every approval needs to be approved. Now in department, let's add one more field. Let's call this total emps. And this will be a number. Let's make this an aggregation from the employees object and let's take the count so we can see how many employees are in each department. So this completes the creation of the three basis objects that we need in this application. In the next lesson, we'll see how to create a UI for these objects.